The previous episode was a complete mess. And I apologize for that. I won't blame, you know, technical difficulties or the fact that the circumstances were all fucked and they just threw me off my game. I, you know, hey, I'm not a professional broadcaster, but god damn it, I can do better than that. I know it. For fuck's sake, I know it. That was embarrassing and uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do my best to make up for it in this episode. And if I can't, no, I will, period. There's... What's going on here? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. Oh, that NPC was uh, standing in the absolute worst spot. Got him. Let's just be. Uh, let's not be cool. Let's be confrontational and pissed. Cause I'm not in the mood for this shit. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because <laughs> we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chibe. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides around here ever again. Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. <laughs> Zoltan, I love you. <laughs> Be my friend in real life. Shady, those guys. Who were they? The puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is. I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Of course! Of course I'll help you! Zoltan, you don't even need to ask, just tell me what to do. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arseweight won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Oh, would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall, and thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Don't get in, in, in any more trouble now, right? All right, let's see if we can help Zoltan out. I was actually gonna go into uh, the Herbal's Marine case. Time and do the uh, the cabaret quest. That is the quest that allows us to. Uh, renovate 
the uh, what is that like a it's not an inn it's not a brothel it was supposed to be a brothel but uh, uh like just let's call it a very sophisticated cafe with music and some good food good people hey I trust Dandelion to be able to just turn that place into the spot to be. You know? The place that you gotta be in, in the city. Alright, let's see. I think that Zed should be here. Yeah. Oh shit, there's a quest inside of the Rosemary Time now. Amazing. We'll do all of that in this episode! By the way, I'm uh, Foxy, DMC, <laughs> Dimi. Whatever the fuck you want to call me. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Let's do this. A dangerous game. So we need to go inside. I think that the door is locked. So we will have to climb the scaffolds. Knock, knock. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Let's do it. Yes! I love that. <laughs> I love it when he <laughs> rolls down the stairs. It's great. Alright, let's see here. Looks like this Zed character, who used to be a fence. A fence being a uh, kind of a shady merchant who deals in... Uh, he specializes in uh, getting rid of uh, hot goods. In other words... If you've stolen some things, you can go to him and uh, he'll kind of fence it on, right? Like he'll take that uh, <laughs> that loot and he'll sell it on for you. No, oh, looks like Gwen cards. Yeah, looks like Estrid Thyssen. I think that's how how you pronounce. What the fuck? Must be Zed. Uh, oh no, sorry, I didn't mean to like stand step on you. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> God damn. Find it? No. The Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Sorry, just <laughs> that caught me off guard. Sorry, wow. Holy fuck. Um, holy shit! It's in Grim. Okay, let's see if I can pronounce his last name. Fiotarna? I think that's how you pronounce his name, not sure. It's in Grim Foil Tiana from the Square Tile deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. It's in Grim Fiolitarna. That might be worth snooping around for. Hissing cream fiolir fiolitana. Fio God damn it. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Damn it, did I just find it? L let me just investigate all these other things first. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Oh. Okay. Either Zed had an ornery cat. Or there's a hidden compartment under there. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. Sorry, sorry. I'm supposed to use Zard. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Outlay. Steel Sword. New. Fabian Oliver. Or Olivier. Moth Eaten Coat of Gold Cloth. Duke. Isengrim. Feolitarna. Fuck. Ravik. Fringila Vigo, Caesar Bilzen, 
and three polished peacock opals. Mix it. Alright, let's go talk to uh, Zoltan. I praise you with all my heart. Yeah, praise on. I am praiseworthy. Fucking love me. Revere me. God damn it, I'm so. I... Geralt looks so fly. It's insane. Look at him. He looks so cool. It's crazy. Oh my god, the Witcher 2 um, armors mod is uh, it's pretty much the shit. Like it's it's incredible. It's just in it's amazing to me that they actually managed to like port over the models and even even the textures really over to the Witcher 3. It, it, it's I have no idea how they did it. So for me, it's a monumentous task. It sounds like a monumentous task, so... And even if it wasn't, I don't give a shit. I, I appreciate the fuck out of the work that was poured into making this mod. I love it. Although this mod in particular, considering I am wearing the Lambert uh, set, or not set, just the chess piece, is part of a different mod. Um, I think it's called just Lambert Ar Lambert's Armor. Um, and... The way I made it work is that I put both the which I installed both the Witcher 2 armor mods and the Lambert armor and then I just put a priority I, I, I prioritize Lambert's armor in the script merger software. Shit, is that what it's called? Script merger? I think it is. God damn, how can I forget all these things? Zoltan, help us out. Zoltan. Get out. Uh, I'll play him in the uh, <laughs> uh, in the uh, <laughs> let's talk to him first though. I'll play I'll play him in the kind of side series. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand the city's walls are high, its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. Damn. The... The syndicates rule the fleet and have control over what the the navy and uh, the army at the same time. Wow, they weren't kidding about them being powerful. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you: the Big Four, Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horson Junior. What do you call a triumvirate? but with four individuals. No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. I think it may be called Tetra Viret. Te Tetraumvirate? Triumvirate. Tetra... Tetragrammaton? I... I don't know. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but... The truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. I don't mind, and if you need any help, 
You need you need only ask. I've got your back, Zoltan. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Hmm. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Thanks, Alton. Thanks. I suspect I won't need much luck, but hey, no need to get arrogant. Alright, so let's go and pay Caesar a visit first, because... If I'm not mistaken, it's on the way to the Golden Sturgeon, so we might as well just knock that off the list. Now that we can. Those guys keep talking about the same uh, same thing over and over again. I'm, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Pointing it out, point, pointing it out. My wife won't believe me when I tell her. Ah, uh, sunset in Novigrad. Lovely. Alright, let's speed this up. Enough of this shit. We got shit to do! We got stuff to do, we got places to be. Ain't no time for this. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny story. The healer, like, healed the uh, crippled beggar and basically took away his livelihood because nobody wants to. You know, giving money to somebody who doesn't, who who doesn't have the ability to walk is probably, you know, uh, you know, probably it becomes a priority for people who wants to, you know, give alms for the poor. If he had two working legs, you know that'd be, yeah, you know, people could always just say, well, this other guy doesn't have an arm. Obviously, we gotta give money to him instead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, anyways, Zoltan. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the card there. My, oh my, <laughs> we're a thief. Oh man. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sort off to Povis. Said Caesar never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry, he won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No, I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. 
Also, why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Onwards then. Shivi! She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, oh, that's that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Uh, 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 well, I mean, no. And no, I don't fish in game and I don't fish in real life. I don't fuck all about fish, but, um, that, uh, no. Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. So what if it's handers or eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? <laughs> Recent early isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some flowing grammar purist? Well then. Did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cop suckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Caer Morhen? Uh, I, as, as riveting as this conversation is, I really want to just get on with the quest. Ah. Excuse me, gentlemen, for, uh, for just one second. Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> you bitch! Can they hold their Mahakaman spirit if their life depended on it? <laughs> Go on! And if you need help holding your hair back, give us a holler! <laughs> so, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened last time. What about last? Whew. Managed to get away from that. Alright, so we're looking for some kind of secret cabinet. Looks like we already found some kind of uh, hidden door knob. What? What is that? I have no idea. Like a button? Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Aha! So we have to put something in to create some kind of uh, crank? But now the question is... Ah. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Well, oh. Drawer is open. Hmm. Ah. So it's just the key. Got it. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. 
<laughs> I was just gonna say that. Classic indeed. Oh my god, we can take the swords. The set of Arana Hid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. I don't want to rob the man blind for the love of God. But why what why didn't he uh why didn't he comment on the swords? Or Oh Damn it. Let's uh, keep on investigating the room. See if there's anything uh, Ooh. Full armor of the seventh Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Like collector, huh? You walk him to Vet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Oh! Let's check out this thing first. Oh, cool. Oh! Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Exactly. Ah, here's Fringilla. Alright, let's get the hell out of here then. Is he gonna roll? Is he gonna roll? No, he's not moving fast enough to produce the roll. I mean, I, I think there actually is a mod that disables the uh, rolling that he does on stairs. Was the dwarves sweet pot snow white cherry? Fuck sure, blame that on us too. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Oh my god, we can just leave him? Alright, fuck Cleaver and fuck you. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? I feel for your ma that she bore you. Holy moly. Nice razors you got there. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Ah, uh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. See you soon. I'll never let your kind in, Novigrad proper. My, oh my. Manners, people! I've been seeing that throughout this playthrough, for the love of God. Just manners. I mean, I know this is the big city and all. 
people don't have time and patience for the peasants out in the countryside, but god damn it. No. He should be inside. Look for your kind beyond the wall. Let's see here. He should be if not on this floor. He should be downstairs. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait, let me let me save, because I suspect that this may be that part. Yeah it is. Okay. Yeah. How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and, uh... Ow! Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Oh my god, Ravi's no use to me. God damn it. I mean... It, it, it would kind of make sense to play that kind of cold-hearted kind of... I don't give a shit about the world, Witcher. Uh, you know, we could have left Caesar to his fate. And we can just... Sacrifice Ravi, but God damn! I let's play for the cards. Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play. Or actually, let's play for the card and his life. Okay. Oh, we did get Fringilla Vigo. Sweet. Let's see if we can get rid of some shit card. Uh, Reynold. See ya, man. Alright. Let's do this. Oh my, oh my. Not bad, not bad at all. North Guardian Empire, yeah, we can make use of that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But I am kind of... Um, All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go and uh, let's swap out the Zerikinia Fire Scorpion, and let's hope that we get something better. Ah, damn it. Oh, that's okay. That's uh, that's a okay. We can still work with that. Uh, what leader card does he have? Ah, Torrential Rain. Okay, so he can counter my archers. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In that case, let's see if we can bait him to use the torrential card on the uh, on the Gontrodim darkness. How are you gonna act? All right, all right. Hmm. Ah, if I put down any of uh, those of my um, Black Infantry Archer cards, he will respond with put putting down a Torrential Rain car uh, card, yeah. Mm, but maybe I should just... Yeah. I'll draw it out now. Uh? What the hell?
This is odd. I guess maybe... Maybe it's because uh, of the fact that this is part of a, you know, of a quest and they want to make this this encounter kind of easy for people who don't necessarily focus on, you know, getting all of the... Uh... Oh, I'm an idiot! Right, rain is for the uh, siege bracket. It's the fog one that's for the uh, medium range bracket, for the archer ranged. Oh my god, I'm such a silly billy. My bad, my bad. Alright. Well, let's just be... Uh... Let's just take it easy and see what we can do here. <laughs> I don't want to get arrogant, but yeah, as I was saying, they probably made this uh, this encounter kind of uh, kind of easy because of the fact that this isn't part of you know. Oh, that that's it. Well, okay, this isn't part of. It. No, this is part of kind of the main quest. So they want to you know they want to be get you know go easy on the on players who might not be focusing on getting all of the Gwent cards in the game. You know. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. Gotta got me clean, you ass! Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you, Ravi. You don't want to give it up. I don't blame you. That's all good. Oh, got a sharp pain in this oh wow. A meteorite in ingot from out of nowhere. You know, that's one of the things that I love about Dark Souls. Um, item locations matter. You know, if you find a specific armor set or a sword or a spell in a... In a particular place that, that that matters it's not just put there just because it's a RPG and you're supposed to have loot and you have to you know give the players some uh, something to look forward to you know give them give them a treasure now and then to kind of make them a bit happy um, but in Witcher 3 no they they're a bit more traditional <laughs> regarding how they uh, sparse out and uh, distribute all of the uh, items and gadgets and loot and stuff I, you know, I, I'm not gonna be a diplomat here and say that, you know, oh, both approaches are fine. No, I prefer the Dark Souls, uh, uh, <laughs> the Dark Souls uh, methodology or uh, presentation. Because we just found the meteorite ingot in some shithole fucking tavern. I, um, yeah, okay, fine, I guess. I guess somebody, some wealthy guy, maybe a fisherman or something, might have... Passed by and accidentally just dropped, <laughs> dropped the uh, the valuable uh, upgrade material into a I don't know a barrel or a a sack or a pouch or something. I, you know, possible. It's possible. You know, it's funny. Um, From now on, I I I, I actually used to collect uh, Pokemon cards. Yep. I used to collect Pokemon cards. I had, had a couple of really good ones. I know that I had Zapdos, which uh, apparently was a really, really valuable and good card. I don't know where my Pokemon cards are now, though. I think we're supposed to turn left. Oh no, my bad. We're supposed to go to Rosemary Thyme, okay. But yeah, uh, I never learned how to actually play the Pokemon uh, I mean, was there a, a rule book on, you know, how to play with the Pokemon cards? I'm not sure, actually. That goes to show just how little uh, I care about, you know, card games and all of that. 
It's not really for me. But uh, I did like I did really like the cards. The cards were cool, they were fun. Um, yeah. All right, we got you your cards, man. Zoltan. Get out. Got the cards, Zoltan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the king of beggars buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. Looks like we're being teleported over there. Sweet. Oh my god. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind. Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. Hey, you. Long as they yes, pay. You. you got water on the brain. Oh god, that line I hated. Oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beard. Oh, that's bad luck. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and... I'll tend to the others. What? Hold up. She's do. Oh my god. Okay. T t oh wow. Uh, Zoltan, d don't die on me, man. Holy fuck! Zoltan can take care of all those guys by himself. What? Can't understand a word. Who? No! What? 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 Left or right? Just point! Right! Fuck! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Dukey! Dukey boy! Yeah, we can run on the ramparts as long as you want, but come on, this is point- Bless. Holy shit, he just disappeared. Okay, if I was Duke, where would I go? I would go up. Because of that cinematic duel on the Ahem tower. Anyways, I I'm just kidding. I would go down, obviously. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. You know, there's actually a hidden quest. Um, ah, hidden quest. Hidden, hidden away. <laughs> a hidden quest that's hidden away. Uh, okay, let me just check the map once more. No, looks like he, he's still going down. Uh, a hidden quest that... Hit, uh, for fuck's sake, stop repeating yourself. That's uh, located somewhere here in the, uh, in the barracks. On the walls. And it's hidden behind like a... Oh, 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 locked, oh, oh, and it's hidden in, I, maybe the sewers? Could be, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, it's the, it's the vampire quest. Oh, god damn, I could have died there. thread. That's okay. I'll leave it. I don't need it right now. Whoa, okay! Oh, 
come on. Wow. It didn't, uh, they caught me off guard there, I'm not gonna lie. God damn. But I managed to bounce back, thank god. Um, let's see here. Ooh, some good stuff in here? Nah, probably not. Come on! God damn it. Somebody... A drowner? Oh, is that him? Up there? Okay. Kinda of dark in here, god damn. me uh, swiving drowners you could use a witcher ha ha highly amusing if if i give you the coin will you leave me be you know yeah No, I, 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 I try to be a merciful dude, but I'm not an idiot. You're a, you're a common simpleton, a, th a thug. You'll be back. No, sorry. No, rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Actually, I'll take the cards. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. <laughs> the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Got it. Awesome. We got three fantastic cards. And uh, our good friend... Zoltan Chive got to pay off his debt. Everybody's happy. This is this is incredible. What a great day. Woo! Duty calls. Uh, let me ch check how much time I have left. Wow! I don't have any more time. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of this episode. Wow. Zoltan, you really caught me off guard with this whole little... Uh... <laughs> spontaneous quest that we had to do all right well that's it for this episode thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye